What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Apple SIM. I'm going to be telling you what it is, as well as how to set it up. So to begin with, what is Apple SIM? Well, the Apple SIM is a SIM card that allows you to select your carrier directly within the settings app. So you're actually going to get the Apple SIM if you purchase a cellular iPad Air 2 or cellular iPad Mini 3 directly from the Apple Store. But if you purchase your iPad from your carrier retail store, then you're not going to get the Apple SIM and you're going to be locked into that network. So for instance, if you purchased your iPad from the AT&T store, then you're going to be locked into the AT&T network. But if you get it from Apple, like I said, then you're going to be able to select your carrier right within the settings app. So I'm going to be showing you that right now. So if we open up our settings and we tap on cellular data, you can see if we tap on set up cellular data, and I of course purchased this directly from the Apple store. So you should see right here, if you did the same, then you'll get your carrier selection right here. Now, one thing to mention, if you select the AT&T network, then it's actually going to lock in your device into the AT&T network and you won't be able to get out. But like for instance, if you tap on T-Mobile or Sprint, then you're gonna be able to uh, switch carriers if you need to. So let's go ahead and set this up. So if we were to tap on Sprint here and open that up, you can see that we have two available data plans. So the one I'm going to be signing up for is the Sprint Mobile Broadband Pass. So it's going to load this up and then I'll show you exactly how to set this up. Here's where you're going to be setting up or putting in all your information. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you finish filling in your credit card information, just go ahead and select on the plan that you want to check out. So I'm going to be doing the 300 megabyte tablet day pass for just $5. Then we're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and then we're going to tap next. And then the terms of service should pop up. So just go ahead and tap agree. And then you should get a screen here that says exactly how much you're paying as well as the taxes and other charges. So once you've agreed to that amount, then just tap on submit. It should go ahead and verify and then give you that amount of data. All right, so if you get this pop up right here, then what you want to do is actually reset all your network settings. You can do that really simply just by going to the settings app and then you want to go into your general settings and then scroll all the way down here to reset. Then just tap on reset network settings and then once it reboots and resets all your network settings, then you can see right here that you actually have a signal. So that's really all there is to it. Just keep in mind that if you select the AT&T network, then you're going to be locked into that network but you can actually go to the Apple store and purchase another Apple SIM if you want to get back to being able to choose whatever carrier that you like. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.